No, no, you want a s'more. I haven't had anything yet. So how can I have some more of nothing? Shut up! You're killing me, Smalls. It's pretty special. You know, I think, I think when it really took off, oddly enough, was like the 20th, the 20th anniversary. And then when the 25th hit, it was even crazier. And every sort of five years, it gets more and more over the top because it's just, it's older and older. And so there's just more generations to bring in. So now you're at like three generations that all love it. And it's a pretty humbling thing to be part of it's you know it's why actors perform to have something or be part of something that's that lasting so i love it i think it's great i think doing an on ensemble movie there's definitely perks to it because a it doesn't all rest on your shoulders and b there's a lot of interaction and there's a lot of things you find just from hanging out with each other that end up in the movie. Doing ensemble films is, is great. And honestly, I've done a lot of ensembles. There's very few that I've done that haven't been that. I think I actually prefer it um, because, you know, everyone lends their hand to making something really great. So uh, I think sports movies are the epitome of that. And not to mention then you also have this added element of action and sports. And I think that just makes for a more enjoyable film. Blockhead! Geek! Jerk! Idiot! Moron! You bob for apples in the toilet! And you like it! You play ball like a girl! Yes! You know, Sandlot, I think it grossed 42 million or 39 million. I always get son-in-law and Sandlot confused. Anyway, we're right around the $40 million mark. Now that was in 1993. So I think with inflation and ticket sales and the fact, the director brings up a good point, the fact that it was a lot of kid ticket sales back then, uh, you'd probably be looking at more like a $100 million movie now. So that's respectable, but that's not, you know, 900 million Star Wars or anything like that. So it, was a res it had a respectable showing, but it wasn't this mass success. Only until 10 years hit, 15 years hit, then you started seeing this lasting power. VHS, then DVD, then digital, then grandparents started showing their grandkids or dad started, you know, the third generation hit. When that 25th hit, it really took on a whole new life of its own. That's when I really saw that it was something special. It's funny to say, but it's only been a few years now where it's had that kind of impact. Because when the movie came out, like I said, it was great. And sure, we had our Westwood premiere in Hall, you know, just outside of Hollywood. We had our little press tour with me and Sean C at the Ritz Carlton and doing the fun stuff as 13 year old kids. But then it was over and people liked the movie and they, they loved it. And I went on to different movies. So it really, it's really been somewhat recent, honestly. Well, it's cool because um, Justin Turner from the Dodgers, I met him. He used Ham Porter as his alias on the road for a couple of years. I think he used it until I said it on national television and then blew his cover. Uh, so I, I've gotten to become, you know, kind of buds with him. Not, you know, we don't hang out. We don't hang out, but it's just been cool to get to know him. And we're doing something on my channel together soon. So you'll see, you'll see very soon. Uh, and so that was a great experience. And honestly, that's been the coolest thing is meeting Major League Baseball players and seeing, to them, seeing what Sandlot meant to them, but then to hear it from these larger-than-life pro athletes who I watch crush home runs, that's pretty special. You know, when Justin Turner, who I'm like, that's my ginger brother hitting home runs, when he's like, you're my alias on the road, you're like, oh, love you, man, you know? So that stuff's cool. Please. 
Please catch it. The 25th anniversary really brought us together. I hadn't seen Tom Guyrie, who played Smalls, in 25 years. So Chauncey, who played Squints, and I have kept in touch over the years a lot. We did three movies together, so we, we were buds in our early teens to our late teens and, you know, through our 20s and 30s, hung out here and there. But pretty much that was it. The other guys I would just see once in a while. Marty York, I guess I saw a little bit too. Um, but the 25th, Ever since then, we're thick as thieves, and we got a group chat, and we see each other a lot. And... Like the sound of this video? All of our music was licensed from Soundstripe, a subscription-based royalty-free music library for filmmakers, podcasters, YouTubers, and more. Soundstripe. Keep creating.